Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. I'll be sharing my 10 best Dollar Tree DIY hacks that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we are starting with two bowls from Walmart. You could use Dollar Tree bowls, but these bowls are 50 cents each. I'm using my hot glue to glue the two bowls together. I'm also using a small vase from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing that vase right in the center of my bowl. I'm also using some beads and I'll start in that seam and go right around with my beads. I'm trying my best not to use too much of my hot glue because it will show. It's nearing the end now, so I'll just place the beads closer together and end it right there. I'm using a brush to brush off any glue webs and then I'll spray paint my vase and I'm using a copper for this one. I allowed the copper to dry, then I spray painted it with black and then I'm just using a piece of packing material to dab the area so the copper can show a little bit. And here's how this one turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Before we continue with our DIY projects, the next 60 seconds is brought to you by Homery. Homery is an online home improvement and decor marketplace. If you're like me and you scroll Pinterest for ideas, you likely came across some of their beautiful home decor pieces. Their website is easy to navigate. They offer free shipping, 30 day returns or exchanges, late delivery compensation and damage compensation. They offer furniture for all the rooms in your house, lighting, wall decoration, sculptures, in general, decor of all styles. They have options that you can choose your style. If you're not sure what style you like, you can always start with Homery. They offer different room ideas. All you have to do is select the look that you like and shop the room. I'm choosing modern and luxurious and these are the room ideas and they give you all the room ideas. I'm going to be choosing this bedroom, okay? And it's as simple as that. It comes right up on the side and you just add it to your cart. I'm also choosing this patio set and it's as simple as that, guys. I ordered a sideboard and I'll tell you all about it after I show you this first look. So today I'm going to be styling my sideboard with our DIY projects and I'm doing two looks. Okay, so let's move on to our second DIY project. For this next project, we are using foam board from the Dollar Tree and two sizes of their party plates. I'm using those plates to mark circles and I'm using my utility knife to cut out the circles. And I'm also sanding the edges with a little piece of sanding paper just to get them nice and smooth. I'm finding the center of my circle and I'm using a book to assist me. Then I'll start drawing lines right across the center. And for each line I draw, I draw the second line in the center. I'm removing the paper backing from both sides. I'm using my scissors to cut out those lines. Go ahead and use an exacto knife so you can have the lines nice and sharp. I'm also taking a second piece of my foam and I'm cutting a border. Next, I'm cutting a third and a fourth piece of my foam board in circles. And these pieces are just to keep the front of my wall decor elevated while it's on the wall. Now I have all my pieces ready and I'm just going to show you how to make one and you can make the rest, okay? I'll be spray painting the pieces. I won't be spray painting directly on the foam. So I'll be using cornstarch in my paint to add a thick layer before I spray paint. I'm gluing these pieces together before I start to paint them. And for this circle, I'll be painting it first because it will be showing on the front. Now I'm giving them a nice layer of paint. And then I'll attach my plate to the back. To hang them on the wall, we're using Velcro. 
And this is how this project looked when I originally made it. Then I changed the color to this current color. I used my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold and my black paint. Now let's move on to the next project. We are using this small bowl from the Dollar Tree and some spoons. And we're making a candle holder. Break the tips off your spoons. We have some small grooves on the spoons and that's what I'm using as a gauge to align my pieces. And I'll do one row and overlap the second row. The third row, I'll place it right on the base and I'll overlap them. And for the last one, you will have a little space, just even the spoons, it will be okay. I'm also using a tapered candle holder. Just glue it in place, use your strong adhesive. Then use some alcohol to clean off your piece before you spray paint it. I'm using Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold. You can leave it plain if you'd like. I'm also using a candle holder on the inside with a real candle. I also changed the color of this candle holder. And here's how this one turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to the next project. We'll be using balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree. This is a small size. I have both sizes, but I'm using the small size for this one. We are making a sunburst sculpture. I cut my skewers into seven inch pieces and I'm scoring each one at the two and a half inch mark. I'm keeping my ruler there so I won't go straight down with the cut. And I'm just cutting out a V, maybe three, three eighths of an inch. And this is how it should look. For this project, you will need 18 small pieces. I'm also using a small foam ball from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use my hot glue on low temperature to attach my sticks. And whatever I do for one side, I do the same for the opposite side. I'm all done and I spray painted it white for this look. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. I'm going to be transforming this vase again. Here's the original vase and I transformed it to this um, design and I used the Dollar Tree sand. I'm just going to use my tacky glue to add the sand to the rest of areas and I'll just fill everything in with my Dollar Tree sand. And you can also use spray paint to add the sand. That's what I did on the first design. Okay, but I thought I could do without it this time. But you'll see in the end that I ended up using the spray paint to complete the look. Here it is after I added the sand and I'm going to be using this automotive enamel paint and as you can see it's not covering the part that was gray and it's giving a different reflection so what I'm doing here I'm just using my spray paint and adding the sand in those areas and now you can see it's nice and black and everything is even. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. And here's how my sideboard looks. The outside is bright white and it's glossy. It's a glossy white. And it's since I got this sideboard that I realized that my other white pieces weren't really white. We have shelves on the inside and it's very wide. It can hold a lot of items. I have all my extra items left inside there that I'm not currently using. And we have soft closed doors. You can use this for your kitchen to store pots and pans. I'll be setting up a coffee station in the kitchen and this is going to be perfect. I'm going to be replacing it with a console table because this is my entryway and I'll share that with you guys. I really like Homery and the way they take care in packing up the item. And this is how the item came to me on a pallet. And you can see it's strapped down nice and tight inside of a yellow fabric wrapping. 
and inside that wrapping is another cage built with wood so it's well protected and inside of that cage is the wax with the item then we have the packing foam so it's well secured okay and it's all put together for you except for the handles and they came right underneath there attached to that part and that's just some extra support underneath there i really love the color of the gold and that's one thing i was worried about and the gold is like a brassy gold it's like my reflective gold spray paint when I use a clear coat on top of it. That's how the gold looks. I think it's really beautiful. It's elegant and I love my sideboard. If you decide to shop the website, check below in the description box for an additional coupon. It's 7% off when you use the code NICE7. Thanks to Homery for making today's video possible. Now let's move on to our second look. We're making five DIY projects. We are using two dome jars from the Dollar Tree. My plan was to make a table lamp, so I used my soldering iron to remove those little notches from the center, but instead we're going to be making a vase. I'll be spray painting my dome white on the inside, and I'll be using bamboo skewers to add to my design, and I'm cutting my skewers at 10 and a half inches. And I'm just using my garden shears to cut my skewers so they can be nice and neat at the ends. I place my skewers in a piece of foam so they can stand upright while I spray paint them and I'm using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold. After they were dry, I flipped them so I could spray paint the other ends. Now everything is dry. I also spray painted my lids gold. Now it's time to attach my skewers and I'm just using my hot glue to do so. To add my skewers, I place the lids on the dome and make sure that the skewers are standing straight on both sides. Now that looks about even, then I'll continue to add my skewers on either side of the first skewer. And I'll be adding five skewers to each side. So as I said, I plan on making a table lamp, but I could not get the spray paint to be even on the inside. So it did not look good when I placed the lights in. So I changed my plan and I'm making a vase instead. Now I'll just glue my pieces together and then add the second dome. Just make sure that they're nice and even. And I'm using my hot glue to connect the pieces. Just make sure to clean up any overspill. I'll use my soldering iron to cut out that piece and I'll be spray painting it gold on the inside. And to add some finishing touches, I'm adding my crystal clear enamel spray paint to the entire vase. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. We are using soap dishes from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to be adding my strong adhesive and I'll glue two of them together. To attach my soap dishes, I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive and I'm just going around the edges lightly, trying to focus the glue mostly on the inside, then I'll attach the two together.
you want to give this about two hours to dry and that should be safe for you to spray paint. And this is gonna be the base for my decorative bowl. Before I spray paint it, I'll be cleaning it with my alcohol and then I'll use my Rust-Oleum Gold Reflective Spray Paint and I'll give it two light coats. And I'm also spray painting my bowl. This is the bowl from the Dollar Tree and I'll use my 2X Rust-Oleum White Gloss for this bowl. You want to clean it with your alcohol to get rid of the fingerprints before you spray paint it and now they're dry so we'll be attaching both of them together. I'm just using my strong adhesive and I'm placing it on the base of the bowl and I'm allowing it to get tacky and then I'll attach the base and the bowl. I'm going to be adding a little embellishments and I have this um, rhinestone ribbon. It's silver, but I'll use my reflective gold spray paint and spray paint the ribbon. And I'll just line up the ribbon going right around the rim of that bowl. The ribbon is self-adhesive, so no need to add glue. Just try to cut it to an exact match and then push the edges in so it's not visible. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to the next project. We are making a five piece wall decor. We are using the Dollar Tree tower blocks. I'm using my tower blocks to make frames and I'm basically making my own canvas. So I'll show you how to make this small one. And I made two of those. I made two medium sizes. And one for the center. I have this piece of material. I'll be using this to make my canvas. I'm not sure where I got this from, but canvas fabric is available online on Amazon. Now I'll attach my material to my frame and I'm using my stapler. And I'll do that for all my pieces. Now I'll take them outside and spray paint them with my white gloss. And I'm also spray painting them on the center with my reflective gold spray paint. So that's the base of my painting. Now I'm going to be using this apple barrel gloss beige. And I'll just paint mostly on the edges with this um, gloss paint. I'm also using white. And I'm just using my small brush, making small strokes, and I'm trying to keep the strokes straight. And I'm basically blending the paint together, leaving most of the white on the edges.
Now it's dry, I'm going to be using my tacky glue on the center to apply my gold leaf. I think I used too much gold leaf. I covered up too much of the gold area, and but you can use as much as you'd like. I'm just using the paper that came in the gold leaf to tap down the pieces. I left it to dry overnight. After it was dry, I use a firm bristle brush and I'm just brushing off the excess. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to the next project. You're just gonna use a candle jar, your favorite candle jar. And I'm taking out the rubber from the lid. And for this project, I'm going to be using two lids. Okay, one for the base and one for the top. And I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive. And I'm just placing that jar inside of my lid. Now I'm using some Dollar Tree bamboo skewers and this is the 100 pack from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using my garden shears to cut the pieces. So what you want to do is place the second lid on top of your jar and measure that space between the second lid and the, the lid on the base. And that's going to be the longest piece of skewer that you're going to cut. And you just need a few pieces of the longest pieces. And then cut um, random sizes after that. Next, you're going to take a piece of paper, like a printer paper. Use a printer paper with a straight edge. I have some lines on this um, envelope, so I'm using this envelope. Okay, and the lines are going to guide me. I'm just measuring around the circumference of my jar. And then I'm using the straight edge as a guide to lay my um, bamboo skewers down. And as I said, I have a line that I'm following. You can't see it on the video, but there's a line that I'm following. But you want to use a straight edge, like uh, as I said, a printer paper, where you can follow that line. And that way you'll get your um, skewers to be straight. So I'm just laying all my skewers and I'm making sure that the base is straight. And I'm just putting random pieces in any position, it doesn't matter where. Then I fold my paper over and I'm just cutting off the excess, leaving the part where the glue is, because that's going to hold our skewers together. Now I'm checking to make sure that my pieces are aligned and I have enough. Now that it's good, I'm going to go outside and I'll spray paint the pieces. And I'm also spray painting this candle holder and I'm using my same Rust-Oleum gold paint. And I'm also painting the back because it may show when my candle is getting low, it's, it may show through, okay? So I'm just gluing my pieces on and I'm trying to line it up to make sure that it's straight. And please remember to use a strong adhesive for this part. If you use hot glue alone, the candle will melt the hot glue when you're using the candle. So you're gonna want to add a strong adhesive going right around the jar and that will secure the skewers when the candle gets hot. And by this, you should be wondering how are you going to reuse this candle jar? Um, you're just going to place your new candle in a bowl of hot water. Just when it starts to melt, you um, transfer your wax to this jar. So on the base, I'm just adding two rows of my mirror mosaic tiles. And as you can see, some of my skewers were too long. So I went ahead and I cut them off and that way I could fit my lid on top. Now it's time to decorate my second lid and the color does not matter. I'm going to be using this um, four inch mirror and this four inch mirror is from Amazon. I think Michael sell four inch mirror also. The one that the Dollar Tree sell is four and a half inches so it will not work for this particular lid. Okay and I'm just adding the mirror on top. And then I'm placing some mosaic tiles around the sides. And this is the last piece. I'm just overlapping the seam. I also have a crystal knob that I'll be adding to the top. And I got this one on Amazon. I'll try to see if I find it. I've had this since 2017. So I'm not sure if they still have it. I'll look for it. And I'll link it in the description box if 
in case you'd like to find it. So now we're done, it's just time to attach our pieces and leave them to dry for overnight. And here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. We are making a Jack's paperweight. I'm using two massagers from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my axaw to cut the pieces. I'm also using a golf ball. I'll use my exacto knife to cut the holes in my golf ball and I'm doing one hole for the top, one for the bottom and four for the sides. Just try to get them to be even so the jacks pieces will line up. Try not to cut the holes too big. We're going to be using four small pieces and two large pieces. And then we have two pieces left. Just put those up for future projects. Just place your pieces in the golf ball and use your hot glue to attach them. You're going to have to be patient while the hot glue is drying. Do the two larger ones first and then attach the rest. And this is the paperweight that we're making. Now we're on our last piece, I'm adding the glue directly on that piece. And the hole was too large, so just try not to get yours too large, okay? Now that the glue is dry, I'm going to be spray painting it with my Rust-Oleum Gold. Here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which display was your favorite. Or if it was just a single project that you like, let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate you watching and I appreciate your comment every week. Thank you so much. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Please click that rectangular box to watch. Please share this video with someone that may be interested. And thank you so much again for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.